You are a daughter of a gangster and Kim Tae-hung is the most dangerous mafia. You are about to marry your love Jack. But on the wedding day he never came. You were waiting for him. Alia come to you and panically said, "Why in? Why in? Jack is not coming. Your dad is saying that he cheated on you." Kim Tae-hung will marry you instead of him. This is not possible. I call Jack. You call Jack, but he didn't pick up. Your dad entered in your room and said, "Come on, Ian, let's go." But that Jack, he will not come, Ian. Forget him. But that, how do you know that? I have sent my agents to check him. They told me he went to New York this morning. You broke down. But dad, how can I marry someone I don't know or don't love? Why am? Trust me, your dad sure is never wrong. You will never regret. Then he take you to wedding venue. You saw Kim Tae-hung standing over there. Miss Kang Wayan, do you take Mr. Kim Tae-hung to be your lawfully wedded husband, to share your life openly, standing with his in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and ease, to cherish and love? I, I do. Mr. Kim Tae-hung, do you take Miss Kang Wayan to be your lawfully wedded wife, to share your life openly, standing with her in sickness and health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship, and ease to cherish and love? I do. The wedding complete. You are nervous when he came close to you. but instead of kissing he hugged you and then your dad hugged kim tae hung and said to him take care of my daughter i hope you will always protect her don't worry mr kang she is my responsibility from now then your dad hugged you and said dear wayan always trust your husband You are feeling very nervous. Kim Tae Hung come and said, "You don't need to feel uncomfortable. Take your time. I will not do anything without your permission. You can sleep here. I will sleep in other room and call me if you need anything." And then he left. You are unable to sleep because you want to know why Jack ditched you. I will not spare you Jack. It's morning. You woke up. You get fresh and you go in the kitchen. You saw Tehan. He said, "Good morning, Wayan." You replied, "Good morning." You have seen him cooking breakfast. You asked, "Do you usually cook for yourself like this?" No actually my cook has off for the day so I am cooking Oh do you need any help No thanks for asking You keep watching him while making breakfast for you Then breakfast get ready he serves you You taste it and raise eyebrows Hmm it's yummy You should be a master chef why are you mafia Well, thank you. Then you both had breakfast together. Tehan said, "I have to leave. I have so urgent work. Listen, if you want to go anywhere, please take bodyguards with you." Okay. You said, "Okay." Tehan left. You have to go to meet someone, so you can't go with bodyguards. You left without bodyguards. You meet to a detective. You hired him to find Jack. 
Find him as soon as possible. I need this guy in front of my eyes. He come back. He was looking for you, but he unable to find you. He asked his bodyguards, "Where is Vian?" But they say they don't know. He shouted on them, "Why you let her go alone?" He told Mike to track your location. You are driving to home, and you got a call from Tehan. He said. Where are you? You said I came to my friend's house to meet her. I'm driving to home, but suddenly your car stopped and your phone fell down. You come out of the car to see what happened. Then you see that your tire punctured. Hello, Wyan. Wyan. But the call dropped. He hurriedly drove his car to find you. Then you saw some nails are there. Then you thought something fishy there. You took your gun out of the car. You look everywhere. You saw someone is ran from there, and you followed him. But he disappeared. You are going forward. But someone put a hand on your shoulder. You turn, about to shoot, but it stay hung. Are you mad? You scared me. He hugged you and said, "I have told not to go anywhere without bodyguards." You scared me to the death. You know how dangerous it is. You are daughter of a gangster and wife of biggest mafia. I know I am a daughter of a gangster. That's why no one can harm me. I enough for everyone. Hmm. I know. Let's go home first. Then you both go to home. He said you to promise him that you never go anywhere without informing him. You promise him. Said okay. You ask him for dinner. He said, "Yes, I am hungry, but I am not in mood to cook right now. Should I order something?" You replied, "No, you don't need to. I will cook." You cook dinner for both of you. You both have had dinner together. You both having conversation, and you asked why he agreed to marry you. He replied, "You are the daughter of my mentor. When he asks me to marry you, I cannot say no to him. Just because you cannot say no to him, this is the only reason." He coughed and said, "It's late. You should sleep now." He was about to go, but you hold his wrist and said, "You can sleep here if you want. After all, it's your room." You really want me to sleep here? Only sleep, nothing else. Okay, if you want. Then you both go to bed for sleep. Your eyes are closed, and you are. facing each other they hang is staring at you you said stop staring me while closing your eyes how do you know i am staring you girls have six senses oh i wish you have had what nothing then you both sleep Tehang wake up and see you hugging him while sleeping. He slowly tried to lose your grip. That you don't wake up, but he failed. Tehang constantly looking at you and adoring you, and then you woke up. See yourself hugging him. You wake up and said that I'm sorry. 
if I made you feel uncomfortable. He replied, it's okay, I was enjoying. What? You hit him with question, enjoying? You, I will kill you. You were hitting him with question continuously, but he hold your hand tightly. You are not able to get out of his grip. You both have eye contact, but suddenly your phone rang. My phone. Then he leave your hand. You picked up the phone. It is from the detective you hired. He said, I got a major information about Jack. Can we meet? You said, okay. You tell they that you have friends meet, so you have to go. He said, you can go, but please go with bodyguards. You nodded. You take the bodyguards with you, but you sat down to wait in the car. Then you met the detective in the cafe. The detective told you that Jack got murdered on your wedding day. You get stunned. To be continued. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the more.